Well, if our Kansans receive this money, it will help out tremendously. We asked U of A economics researcher David Sorto on what kind of impact we could see. COVID bill will include an extra $300 of unemployment, of an unemployment boost that will run till through March. Sordo says come December 26, several programs passed under the CARES Act that help the unemployed will have run out. There's a lot of people who are just, they're just getting by or they're starting to fall behind. And it will help those folks, you know, have a little bit of breathing room or at least have a little bit less worry. He says if the package is approved by Congress, $300 billion will go to small businesses. He says retail saw an increase after Americans received the first round of stimulus checks. And kind of what we saw shortly afterwards is that there was a big jump as soon as people got hold of those stimulus checks. He says the biggest concern for Arkansans are those struggling to pay rent. Churches can really help, and so can a lot of organizations, but they can't help at the scale that's needed. Pastor Clinch Neckloff says throughout the pandemic, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church has helped 385 households with rent and bill assistance. So we're just one little congregation who's been able to have this kind of impact, but that shows the level of the need. Schneckloff says he's especially worried for Northwest Arkansas once the CDC eviction moratorium ends on December 31st. These families who they're behind on their rent, their refrigerator's empty, they've got a, you know, a multi-hundred dollar water bill because they haven't been able to pay the water bills. So never mind that they, how are they gonna have anything show up from Santa on Christmas morning for their kids? Tonight, Neckloff and other community members are meeting outside the governor's gated community in northwest Arkansas to ask two things, to extend the CDC eviction moratorium and to provide more funding for rent assistance. Of course, we'll be watching what happens in D.C. as well. Reporting live, I'm Kendall Ashman, 4029 News.